Hello there. This is my little uh, garden prep setup where I replant stuff. Today I'm gonna separate these seedlings. Obviously there's way too many in there and it's too small and they're definitely ready to get separated and try to do it healthy. Hi Dewey, you wanna say hi buddy? He wants to come outside so bad. He's an indoor cat though. It's all right, buddy. So, I'm gonna put them in these, I believe they're like five or six inch pots. And then the holes at the bottom are super big. So to keep the soil from coming out, I've just been putting a piece of cardboard in there. Hi, buddy, it's okay. But I'm running out of potting soil. Got my arches almost ready to go up. This is where I'm putting my other bed. It's the garden. Everything's doing really good. I've just been using this uh, soil that came with the house. Hopefully I don't regret it later. Mixed with a little bit of native soil. I mean, stuff's growing in here, so it should be all right. And then around the roots and bottom, I'm putting in some worm castings and some other stuff. But yeah, let's get these separated. I don't know if this is the best way, but this is the way I've been doing it. Been working really good, so. I got these pots. <clears throat> and I just been soaking this soil super good. Try to get some coming up from the bottom. Been letting that soak for a while. I think I counted 12 in here. These are large cherry tomatoes. You can see I put the seeds in on April 11th. So that's my little setup. Got my supplies down there. It's okay, buddy. If you saw my other video, these are the, uh, this is the slice of tomato I put in. In a regular, I cut this bottle about right there where my thumb is, put a slice of tomato in there and covered it with soil and watered it. And I came out with 35 seedlings and I separated these yesterday at about the same time. So 24 hours and they're all doing really good. These were the little ones and ones I broke. A couple of them died, but not bad for 35. We'll see if they produce tomatoes. Just a little test experiment thing. <clears throat> so I just been soaking this soil that I had super good and I got some worm castings oops and uh, this is a fungi fertilizer somebody recommended so I'm just I want to bury these super deep too as deep as these pots really I'm putting some of this in here just a couple I think you're supposed to mix it with the soil but it's just a lot of work. And then I kind of just spread these worm castings around, mix them in with this soil. This is what I'm gonna fill it with. This is actual potting soil, so that will be around the roots to keep everything safe. Let's see what happens. The other ones came apart surprisingly well, so I was happy with that. But you can see these are way overcrowded, but they got super healthy roots, so. See what these ones do. I just do this so I don't try not to damage the roots as much. It's just an old Gatorade bottle. see these are super healthy plants these roots are nice and deep I'm just gonna plop it in there let it soak up a little bit and then I like to put use some water so it it's kind of like an IV IV bag while you're transplanting keep the roots moist get some nutrients I have a feeling these are going to be a little bit tougher <laughs> separate. And then you just kind of slowly break it up. You don't want to 
pull on anything too hard. These roots are gonna break, especially the really small ones. And that's okay. Some people even recommend you cut like an inch or so off the ends of them. But just see what happens. Just start with this guy maybe. So there is roots still attached. I probably ripped a lot of them, but it's gonna be the first one. I'm just gonna pick off, these are those original not true leaves. I know you're not supposed to hold them by the stem, but it's going in the soil anyways. So I'm just gonna plant that down as deep, deeply as I can in there. And again, I'm no expert. This is just how I've been doing them. And as you can see by the other 35 that I did, usually they'll die, the seedlings, if they're not gonna make it <clears throat> past a day or two. So should have 35 either worthless cool plants that don't produce any tomatoes or I'll have a ton of producing beefsteak tomatoes. So there you go, and then I'll label it and uh, date it also, the date of transfer. And then I bought, these are, I got 50 of these plastic. They're really flimsy, but when you put the soil in them, they're really sturdy. There's 50 of them and a bunch of labeling tags off of Amazon for super cheap. So yeah, I think I have 12, 12 in here seedlings. And I got these ones already prepped with the worm castings and that fungi fertilizer. I'll transplant the rest and let you guys know how it goes. But that's how I've been doing them. Everything pretty much the same. All my plants, seeds that I transplanted after they sprouted, pretty much the same way. So I've had good luck with it and hope you guys do too. Thanks.